Here at University Hospitals Birmingham NHS Foundation Trust, we have more than 1,000 patients coming through our doors every day, and keeping track of all of their medical information can be a challenge. Thanks to funding we've received from the National Institute for Health Research, we have been investigating the way that patient data is managed in hospitals. Working locally here in Birmingham and the Black Country, and nationally and internationally with our partners in Edinburgh, Nottingham and Boston, USA, we have been able to measure the impact of information technology on patient safety at every stage of the prescribing process. Every day, our electronic prescribing system here at University Hospitals Birmingham stores information about our patients and their treatment. It records numbers of patients treated, types of medicines administered, and even detailed information about the timings of ward rounds and which risk assessments have been completed for each individual patient. The system also displays electronic alerts to warn doctors when a patient is at risk of harm. For example, to warn if a drug has been prescribed using an inappropriate quantity or route, or remind if an assessment or check needs to be completed. All this information can be extracted and analysed by our research team, and from here we can make changes to our e-prescribing system in the hospital. We also publish a great deal of our work to inform and improve practice in hospitals worldwide. This is one of the tablets we use here at University Hospital Birmingham. It's a mobile device that's charged at one of the docking stations on the ward and can be carried anywhere throughout the hospital. Follow our tablet and see for yourself what e-prescribing looks like. Our research here at University Hospitals Birmingham has led to the development of some really useful features in our system. These include handy alerts and reminders such as alerting the prescriber about adverse drug interactions and reminders to complete important risk assessments, therefore improving patient safety. As a consultant, it's good to know that my team are being supported in their roles as I can't always be around to assist. Lots of the research leads to improvements that directly affect junior doctors like me. For example, clinical dashboards provide me with real-time feedback about my ward's performance and the hospital as a whole. I've also benefited from access to guidelines such as the British National Formulary website, which has information on all kinds of drugs that I prescribe on a daily basis. As a pharmacist, I've been looking at how electronic prescribing affects communication between doctors and pharmacists, and ultimately how this may be optimised. We've also been looking at factors affecting medication errors, and how changes to our e-prescribing system have influenced the rate of error over time. Right now we're undertaking research into how electronically recording vital signs can help us identify critically ill patients more quickly. Also, our system automatically prescribes certain drug treatment regimens. So for example, when a positive MRSA swab is identified in the labs, the system automatically prescribes MRSA eradication therapy for that patient, which I can then administer. We're currently looking at the effect that this has had on the rates of MRSA in our hospital. Once we have the data we need, we can start to analyse and interpret our findings. Here I'm using data recorded by the system to investigate underreporting of diabetes in our hospital and to study potential ways to use the system to improve care. So far we have managed to disseminate our work in the form of published papers, posters and presentations. Most importantly, our research has led to changes to our system which can be further analysed resulting in continuous improvement. Our research we believe will help inform other hospitals about how they can develop their systems too. This is where ideas become a reality. Our in-house system allows us to make adjustments to the rules and algorithms based on the research outcomes. These changes then go on to make a real difference to patient safety, hospital efficiency and cost effectiveness out on the ward. It's interesting to see how much of an impact electronic prescribing had on my stay and my treatment here in hospital. The research going on here is clearly making a real difference in helping doctors with the valuable work they're doing. From reducing medication errors to improving diabetic medicine, our research covers a broad spectrum of healthcare improvement and innovation. Of course, there are hurdles to overcome in developing an electronic prescribing system, and it's crucial to explore these issues too. For example, we're investigating the unintended consequences of electronic prescribing. For example, alert fatigue, the frustration suffered by professionals of too much information, and excessive pop-up alerts. The findings from this research can be used to develop and improve the system further. As you can see, we're using data from our e-prescribing system to understand a variety of interesting and important issues in our hospital, 
and from these findings we can implement changes to our system and from these changes we can progress the quality, efficiency and cost effectiveness of the healthcare we provide here in Birmingham and across the nation. We hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about our research and if you'd like any further information please visit our website. Thank you.